हेलो एवरी वन टूडे इन द थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ अमाइनो एसिड आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द रेक्शंस गिवन बाय अमाइनो एसिड ओके एज वी ऑल नो द अमाइनो एसिड हैज दिस बेसिक स्ट्रक्चर एंड ड्यू टू प्रेजेंस ऑफ एसिड एंड बेस ग्रुप due to presence of this basic group and this acidic group within one molecule it is very very reactive molecule and it exists in zwitterion form and basically it is giving us three kind of reaction first is reactions given by ns2 group right second type is reactions given by COOH group of amino acid and third type of is reactions are reactions which is given by COOH and NS2 group together okay so basically we are having three categories NS2 group which gives the reaction COOH group which gives the different type of reaction and both of these group when involved in one reaction it is a third category so let us start with first category that is the reactions involving coh group or acidic group the first reaction is the first reaction which is given by coh group is a sterification reaction sterification reaction in this you have to take amino acid right it is going to treat with hcl when it is treated with hcl this is positive charge this is negative charge this is already positive charge so it will take negative one so we are having NH3Cl after doing the reaction and here COOH. This reaction is particularly given by COOH group. Now what will happen if I pour alcohol in this? This is famous reaction when COOH react with alcohol, acid react alcohol, it will give fruity smell in the laboratory and we are getting ester. Ester is the identification test for the formation of fruity smell. Sorry, fruity smell if appears after the reaction of these two, it is identification test of ester. Right? This is the first reaction. Now, I am going to give you the second reaction. Second reaction is amino acid. Wrecked with acetic anhydride. Now, what will happen here? Amino acid wrecked with amine acetic anhydride. This is amino acid COOH. It wrecked with acetic anhydride CS3COO O CO CS3. This is electron rich species this will go to electrophilic side this is good living group and after doing this we are having with the loss of acetic acid we are having c nh cu cs3 coh and h now reaction with pcl5 with removal of POCl3 and with removal of HCl, we are getting R C N H C O C S3 and here we are having C O C. Right? This acid chloride group is inserted on COH. This is the reaction which is particularly given by COH group. In this amino acid, it is reacting with acetic anhydride. You can also take 
CS3, COCl in the same reaction and here the acetylation of amino acid will occur. Right? The third type of reaction is decarboxylation reaction. It is decarboxylation reaction. As I told you number of time, what you mean by decarboxylation? Decarboxylation is loss of CO2. Okay. In this, you have to take amino acid. You have to heat it in the presence of barium hydroxide or diphenyl amine. You can take anything. After this, CO2 is lost and we are getting amine. Okay. So, what is the final reaction here? Suppose I am going to take histidine. This is histidine. If I am going to take this and I heat it in the presence of barium hydroxide, what will happen? CO2 is lost and I am getting CH double bond C and CH NH this CH NH2. Now this is lost. Okay, CO2 is lost here. Now, amine is formed. Clear? In, in the dicarboxylation reaction, loss of CO2 is there. You have to heat barium. You have to take amino acid. You have to heat it in barium hydroxide or diphenylamine. CO2 is lost and at the end we are having amine. Now, the fourth reaction is reduction. Reduction. You have to take amino acid NS3 positive C R H C O negative. Reduction means you have to take any reducing agent. Suppose I am going to take lithium aluminium hydride and it is going to change in this and this is known as amino alcohol okay so basically you have to take amino acid any reducing agent and it is giving us amino alcohol after the end of reaction so fifth reaction it is reaction with base reaction with base what will happen amino acid and this is very basic reaction we did this reaction in earlier lectures also when amino acid react with base what will happen? We are getting salt of this. Alright. Salt is formed after the reaction. Clear? These all are the basic reactions of amino acid. I am going to repeat it. First is the sterification reaction. Okay. Second is the acetylation reaction. Third is the decarboxylation reaction. Fourth is the reduction reaction and fifth reaction is reaction with base. Now, we are going to start with the second category reactions given by NS2 group. Right? Amino group. So, our first reaction is Reaction with reaction with 
acid but we'll have if we are having amino acid and it is reacting with any acid suppose i am going to take hcl right so what will happen here r ch nh3cl cooh right so we are getting hydrochloride salt whenever acid or base react together whether it is reacting from this side or whether it is reacting from this side we are getting salt right second reaction second reaction is reaction with reaction with acetylene agent basically it is acetylation reaction now what will happen in the case of acetylation reaction we have to take any amino acid or coh nh2h right you have to take any acetylene agent so i am going to take acetic anhydride plus we am taking any base what will happen it is going to change in salt of this h and this position is got acetylated right and if i add hcl again to we are getting r coh nh coch3h acetylation reaction acetylation is done at this position have a look on this reaction okay now the third reaction which is given by third reaction which is given by nh2 it is a reaction with co2 reaction with co2 you have to take amino acid when it is reacting with co2 what will happen r c n h COOH is formed and this is known as N carboxy amino acid. Okay, at this position it is reacting with COOT and we are getting this, and this is known as N carboxy amino acid. Clear now. The next reaction is a reaction with HNO2. Okay, it is nitrous acid. In this, you have to take amino acid. It is reacting with HNO2. Okay with the loss of n2 and water we are getting r c h o h c o o h so we are getting hydroxy acid clear with nitrous acid amino acid is giving us hydroxy acid now fifth reaction reaction with nitrosyl chloride reaction with nitrosyl chloride so again you have to take amino acid and it is reacting with nocl nocl is nitrosyl chloride so we are getting 
with loss of N2 and loss of water. And this is known as chloro acid. Clear? Now, very very important reaction in this category is reaction with reaction with 2,4 dinitro fluoro benzene reaction with 2,4 dinitro fluoro benzene this reagent in the short it is known as dnfb reagent dnfb reagent and it is also known as sengers method this is name direction right so what we have to do in this we have to take NO2 fluoro nitro. This is DNFB reagent. Right? It is going to react with our amino acid So what will happen? After the reaction we are getting And HF is lost. Clear? So we are getting. You can write this like this. This is dinitro phenyl derivative. Okay. This is Sanger's method in which DNFB dinitro fluorobenzene reacts with amino acid and it is giving us this kind of product and this is also known as DNP amino acid. It is also known as DNP amino acid and it is bright yellow in color. So this is the identification test of amino acid when it react with this reagent it will give bright yellow color crystals and this shows amino acid is present in our sample very very important reaction for your exam clear these are all reactions which is given by ns2 group